Hello and welcome. I am Suit and Tie with XPLoot.com and this is Daz Studio Basics. Today we're going to go over some camera basics. Uh, this time I have used some assets and threw together a little scene for us to take a look at and play with these cameras for a little bit. Um, first off, I am using the IG Photographer Toolkit. This is a, a purchased asset. I like these cameras, it makes it sort of easy. Um, but the nice thing about this is you don't actually have to purchase anything to get the full functionality of the Daz Studio cameras. So when you first start off, you will be in perspective view. And it's important to note that you can't render inside of perspective view or like a light view if you have um, like a distant light. So if you don't have another camera, it will give you an error. If you do have a camera, instead of you know rendering what you want in perspective view, it'll just default to the next camera down. So you just wanna keep that in mind. So let's go ahead and create the first camera. Uh, what you wanna do is come up here to the top and this is the new camera, or create a camera button. So go ahead and just click that and give it a name. Uh, we can just call it camera two, that's fine. And then um, accept and your camera will be in the scene. So I've already created one. I'm just going to go focus to it. So to get to your camera out of perspective view, uh, you'll click on this button up here and then find your camera. All right, and that should switch it around for you. So again, this is just the basics. Um, there is quite a bit, like the, the camera system inside of Daz is very robust. So we're just going to go over some of the few little things um, that I've, I've, I've run into without having to go into the depth. Again, we, I might have an advanced uh, video for you a little bit later. And if that video exists, it will be linked down below. Um, but that might take some time. Okay, so let's go ahead and we'll scroll down to the cameras tab. So over here, there's shaping, posing surfaces. Click on the cameras tab and click all. We're gonna look at a few things. Uh, we're gonna look at uh, depth of field, focal distance, f-stop, and headlamp. Um, and then we'll, we'll talk about some of the little issues that I run into with the cameras. So first off, find the depth of field button. It should be off by default, so go ahead and click that on. Now you're gonna see some things are now blurry and out of focus and other things um, perhaps, and, and most likely, uh, things that are not what you're supposed to be focusing on are in focus. So there's an easy way to fix this. Um, you can go ahead and just double click whatever you want the focus to be. In this case, it's gonna be my Genesis female, and then use the frame button right here. Problem with that is you might need to recenter your camera and you might have some weird issues if uh, your camera is parented to something, so keep that in mind. Now, now you can see that my Genesis female, my mom cannonballing into the pool is in focus and everything else is out of focus. There is a manual focus distance here. I'm just gonna copy this number. So we can change the focus manually. See, now she's out of focus and she's becoming a little bit more in focus. So that might be something that you want. I'm gonna go ahead and revert that. All right, um, so there is also the f-stop. Um, and I'll, I'll go into the advanced um, explanation of this a little bit later in a different video. But for, time, for now, uh, you can increase it if you want other things to be in focus. You see, I've increased this and now background items are becoming more focused. So let's go ahead and just make it a little bit more and see how she's becoming a little bit more focused here. So that's something to keep in mind. If the focus is a little bit too strong for you, you can dampen it. Or if you want to make it a little bit stronger, you can also sharpen it that way. Um, so let's go ahead and talk about some of the issues with the cameras. Um, so currently I am rendering with sun sky only um, so what i'll go ahead and do is switch this to dome and scene so it got a lot darker uh, because right now i only have a uh, yeah that's it all, all the lights are just ambient so i am showing this to you in the nvidia ira mode but if you're not 
running a robust system. If you don't have like a 3090 or, you know, if your video card isn't, you know, up to scratch, you might have to do everything in texture mode. So if you're using texture mode, you might get a dark screen. Um, so if that happens, you'll want to go into your camera and go down to headlamp. I have it set off. Sometimes you'll have it set to auto, but if you add a light, let's go ahead and just add a point light, that will turn it off. So if you have a point light in your scene or even out of your scene, something you forgot long ago or came with a random asset that you threw in there, um, it will screw up your, your view here, your texture shaded view. So you can either get rid of the point light or you can automatically turn on or, or uh, manually turn on the headlamp. The catch to that is when you go back to um, your rendering mode, your iRay, your NVIDIA iRay mode, you're going to see that it is, you have like almost a flash on it. This is your headlamp. So I'll go ahead and turn that off. You see what I mean? See the difference here? On, it's like almost like the camera has like a flash and it's taking a flash. Um, so again, if this is the case, you're going to have to manually go in here and keep turning things on and off. Or I like to sometimes go in here and create um, a utility camera. And I'll use that utility camera as like the, uh, give me a second here. We'll turn texture shaded off. I'll use the utility camera as the way to um, headlamp. And then whenever I need to go render, I'll just go ahead and come back to my normal camera and render it. Okay, so now I'm just gonna show you a few of the cameras that I've, I've picked up from that IG uh, Photographer's Toolkit. Oh, first of all, I'm gonna turn this back to Sun Sky. Okay. And I'm just gonna rip through these kind of quick and let you see how it looks. She's kind of out of focus here. Here we go. So this is this is strange depth because the the daughter here is actually quite a bit further than she appears at this point. And definitely at this point. Okay. Well, again, I'm Suit and Tie, and this was the camera basics for Daz Studio. Uh, if you have any questions or concerns or have any advice for me, go ahead and feel free to put them down in the comments. Um, go ahead and like and subscribe and hit that bell notification so you get notified when I post new videos. Um, thank you very much, and you have a wonderful day.